Hello, I'm Brother Kevin Cotham, pastor here at First Baptist Church of Britain, Alabama. This is the update. Today is June the 24th. I hope that you're having a great day. Cases here in Escambia County um, for COVID-19 have really increased. Matter of fact, in Escambia County, we have 205 cases. In the state of Alabama, we have 30,670. So we are seeing our case numbers go up, but especially here in Bruton, we're seeing uh, more cases and, and we're starting to know people that actually have the virus. And um, we want you to uh, be safe. We're praying for you every day, encouraging um, you to uh, limit yourself uh, from uh, public places and doing that. And uh, I know that we do have church here and, and we're having services that, on Sundays from, um, on Sundays from nine and then we have another service at 11. Uh, those services, we're trying to do all that we can to keep it uh, very clean so that there's no issues with contamination. Uh, we actually have a air filtering system that's in the church that is uh, killing the virus uh, if it were to be in the air. But at the same time, we're asking everyone to wear masks. In between services and before the services, we are cleaning uh, every uh, place where anyone would have touched. So our goal is to keep a very safe environment. But in the same breath, we know that people struggle with uh, being in public uh, because of the safety factor. So if you do not feel like it's uh, the right time for you to be out in public, we understand that and we want to encourage you to say, stay safe and stay at home. But I will say this, as we opened up just a little bit, we are, are, are trying to protect people. And, and one of the areas that we're going to uh, be having uh, new this Sunday is we're going to have a Sunday school class. Dr. Tommy Smith is going to teach his Sunday school class in Bell Chapel at 10 o'clock. Uh, all, all adults are invited to come be a part of that. It's going to be spread out. We're also going to be live streaming that. So if you normally watch it, the video, Dr. Tommy from home, his Sunday school lesson, it's going to be a little bit later, about an hour later than what it normally is. It will air live on Facebook at 10 o'clock and it will be um, posted on our website a little bit later in the day. Uh, so just uh, take note of that. His, his Sunday school lesson will be on our website. Uh, but it will be on Facebook. It will not be on YouTube uh, this Sunday. So just make note of that and let you know about that. But it is a neat opportunity that we're going to have him teach and any adult that like to go to the fellowship hall. Now, we are going to encourage you to, to practice social distancing as well as wearing a mask during that time. So uh, please make note of that. Some other Sunday school classes uh, are meeting at different people's homes and their yards. Uh, keeping the distance, all that type of stuff. So talk to your Sunday school teacher to see if your class might uh, be meeting uh, or what's going on with that. I know my class has done many different unique things in, in trying to have Bible study. Uh, this week we're going to do something kind of neat. We're going to meet at the church and be in the playground area. Uh, we're going to do the, with the adults uh, the lesson at the picnic tables and let the kids play on the playground. Uh, so again, a little bit different than what we've been doing. We've been doing it in my backyard, uh, but this time we're going to move it to town and be able to uh, do it here at the church, but do it as we social distance and also let the kids play while we're having uh, those lessons. There are many reasons to come to church uh, and not come to church right now. Uh, there is the reality again of the COVID-19, but I want to ask you a question and I want you to pray about this. And, and, and seek God in this. Are you going to church? Because, are you not going to church because of the COVID nineteen and the dangers of, of that, or are you using it as an excuse, and you're really being lazy in your church attendance? Uh, you know, I've seen a lot of people that are living their life no different than it was before the pandemic or before the virus came about. Uh, Walmart's full. Uh, people are going around doing things, going to sporting events, all those type of things. And the reality is those same people aren't coming to church. And, and I really want you to, to work through that in your heart and your life. I know some people are struggling with the idea of having to wear a, a, a mask for 40 minutes. Uh, other people are struggling with the idea of having to take care of, of their kids. They're worried about their kids being too loud during the worship service uh, during that time. 
uh, other people have just gotten out of the routine. Uh, it, it's it's been a long time since uh, you've been to church and you're just out of I hate to say it, but practice or habit of it. And and I want you to just see God in this and ask yourself, what does God want me to do? Now again, if you believe that the virus is real and it is, we're seeing the cases uh, go up, and you stay home because of that, that is legitimate. But if you are still going on about your regular life and you're not going to church, I think you've got to question yourselves and, and ask what is the motivation and, and why and is it legitimate in doing that. It's important that we make uh, worship a priority in our life. Hebrews tells us not to forsake ourselves from something like that. It's important to have that connection and being together. And uh, one of the reasons why we gather together is for worship of God. It's for God's glory, for His honor. But at the same time, we want to have the intimate fellowship within the body of Christ. Uh, and, and I really think some people are struggling spiritually right now because they're not having that opportunity. They're not seeking God in that. Now listen, I, I believe it's important for us to have quiet time, our, our Bible study, our private Bible study, our, even private worship. But in the same breath, I think God wants us to be in an intimate relationship with Him, with other Christians. And, and I know that kind of throws uh, some, some things in a little bit different look. Uh, but guys, I, I want to encourage you uh, to be true to what God has laid on your heart about uh, going to church or not going to church. Um, and, and, and make it the right reasons of why you're doing what you're doing. Um, again, it's not that we want you to do it out of habit or because you feel like you have to to be a good Christian. We want you to do it because of a relationship. And, and that's what I'm scared of. We're seeing our numbers down so low. I'm afraid some people's relationship with the Lord is very weak right now. So I want to encourage you this Sunday to be in church. If you can, if, it, if, if you feel safe, come be a part of our worship time. We, we meet at 9 o'clock and 11. And if one of those times is better for you, I want to encourage you to come be a part of that. A lot of things going on here at the church again. Uh, it's fun to see the renovations. We've got hardwood floors in the foyer now. Uh, we're seeing a new ceiling go up in Bell Chapel area. Not in the chapel area itself, but in the hallways, new lighting. Uh, the youth room is complete. So it, it's been a lot of fun. Guys doing some neat things at our church and, and the way of renovation, and we're, we're excited about uh, that. Uh, we have seen a couple um, people struggling physically right now with sickness. Um, you know, Wilburn um, Perry passed away last week. We have several other people that are that are very close to death. Uh, and I want to encourage you to, to be thinking about those around you, thinking about our fellow members and, and praying for them and lifting them up, uh, giving them a call, maybe visiting them even if you uh, feel like that is something that's appropriate. Uh, but um, I, I know there's a lot of people that are going through different things, whether it's illness or some family issues or, or other things. And even though this COVID-19 is taking place and we're having to be careful of that, life still continues on. You still have those challenges in life. So uh, I want us to make sure that we're being there for each other and, and that we're loving on each other, encouraging uh, one another. Thanks for tuning in to the update. Uh, today is June the 24th, and I pray that God is continuing to work in your life. And I hope to see you this Sunday morning.